Hello everybody, I'm back again. Just wanted to do another quick video of this other custom order that I finished. Um, this one actually, I, I finished it on Friday. And uh, I've been so busy, has so much going on. I have not been able to do a video. I have not mailed it, which I apologize to the buyer. But um, yeah, uh, just too much going on in my life right now personally and it's very hard but uh, things are going okay now I have a daughter who's 22 now yeah 22 and she was born with diabetes she was diagnosed with it when she was three I think two or three so she's been having issues um, with eating uh, I don't even want to get into it. You guys probably don't want to hear all that, but um, she's just going through issues. She's in and out of the hospital and um, trying to figure out what it is, going for tests, and um, well, let's see how that goes. But I pray to God that they figure it out. But she was staying with me also since I'm closer to the hospital, so that's made it very difficult for me too to get to uh, my job. <laughs> But anyways, enough of that. I, you know, just wanted to apologize to um, to the person who ordered this journal, which I can't think of her name right now. See, my head is everywhere. Anyways, let me just get to the book. I apologize. I will see right now where her name is. Actually, hold on. I'm so bad. I have so much in my head. You have no idea. Trina is her name. I won't pronounce her last name because I don't know. She is from Canada. That I do remember. M Moscovich, I think. I think. If I pronounce that wrong, I apologize. But this is her journal. This is definitely going out on Monday for sure. Um, this is what I created for her. I love the image. It's got a lot of glue hairs. But this is what I made for her. So let's jump in because I already did a lot of talking. This is the first page. Oh my ah, like this. Okay, I need to stay like that. So this is an image and it's just holding a layaway tag and it's plain in the back. Did a little bit of collage there. I made a tag for her. And I just put a little piece of um, trim on the bottom and sewed it. So that just pops there. Here's another little tag she can journal on. In the back I have a tag that I created. Just had fun layering papers and stamping. On this side I have a pocket and this, uh, it's not glued down. I put it with a paper clip so she can journal on the back and put the card on the top where she could cover her important stuff. Here's another little tag. And then this one here. Then I have this cute little doily and these came from A Tattered Dreams, which it's funny. Um, I thought I had finished them all, but I found a couple of them. And uh, so I used them on this journal. I love these oval ones. And here I just have a envelope from Tsunami Rose. This you can journal and hide the evidence. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no evidence. Put that deep clip back. So then on this side is the envelope It's holding this piece of ephemera. This came from a kit that I purchased on Etsy. I think it's GT Designs if I'm not mistaken. I need to write those names up here on my wall. Do I have it already? No. <laughs> so here I have one of my pockets, just added this little ticket, added some fabric, a flower. And on the inside, I have this little tag that I've been um, having fun collaging. And I just do bits and pieces and 
which by the way I got my craft room back because when my daughter was staying here she uh, was staying in this my craft room so I was working from the living room to give her her little privacy brought a bed in here for her she left yesterday so I took it out today and I'm back in my room and by the way guys I got an AC in my window so I don't need my fan anymore I think I well, I still use my fan but uh, finally got an AC I'm comfortable now Here's a little um, collage I made. And I have these two pieces of ephemera. And then on this side, I have another one of my book page pockets. And it's holding this telegram from Tsunami Rose. I think this one came from Marty Mays, by the way. This one I can't remember. <laughs> A tag I made. Here I have another little piece that I um, collaged and used as a little corner tuck. And it's holding this image from Tsunami Rose. And that just pops there. This side I have one of my envelopes that goes over the page. And in here it's holding this image I had from a book I took apart. And the little tag I made. On this side, oh, I got this book that has these large page pages. Um, I can't remember right off the top of my head, but the... Um, size of the pages but um I made these awesome envelopes. Ah. Yes? Okay? I'm okay Papa I'm doing a video. Give me a second, okay? Are you almost done? I'm almost done. <laughs> and I just went ahead and added this image in the front. <coughs> Excuse me. This image came from a kit from Tsunami Rose. But I thought they came out so cute the little flap so I made me a couple of them um, I just I'm not sure what kind of book it is I'm trying to think but yeah I, li I like the way those came out so cute and then here I have another little collage that I made and that image of that lady came from um, the book I was using and this one from Artie Mays Something Washington, the book. Ah, I don't remember. Here I did a little bit of collaging there. And here I have this piece of ephemera from Tsunami Rose. Another little tag that I made. Here's another different style of a doily. I don't know if you guys could see that has a little rose that's embossed. Really cute. I didn't copy dye, dye those. Um, another beautiful image and she has a layaway tag it's just a plain tag but these are awesome to journal on on this side I just went ahead and did a little bit of collaging I love this I need to do this again and it just hold this, holds this um, journaling card that I got from Tsunami Rose and I backed it on some wallpaper but yeah I like the way that came out I think it looks so cute. I need to do that again. And I left it open, like I said, for that. On this side, I just have this little journaling card that came from Tsunami Rose. And a little piece, piece of a ticket. This is also from Tsunami Rose. And there's a tag I made. I've been having so much fun. Uh, collaging. Here again, another little tuck I made with just some um, scraps. Uh, another little collage. That's why I think I love the uh, collaging because you get to use all your little scraps instead of piling them in your room in a box or boxes. <laughs> this image is, I mean, a die cut came from Tsunami Rose. And I just have this tag. And I got these, uh, they were different ones uh, from Michaels. I don't know if you guys know them or I've seen them a while back um, and I bumped into them. I didn't know I still had some. 
Here's another little tag I made again. Pieces of fabric and then this is a piece of a wallpaper. And I thought that looked cute. Just a little cute little tag. And this is another envelope from Tsunami Rose. And it's just holding its little journaling card. Pop that back there. Here I just have a little corner pocket, just layered some pieces of uh, lace fabric. And I just have these two. Here I just back turn a piece of uh, book page, added a little bit of uh, fibers there, just to decorate the page. Here I have another one of my little pockets. Just added this cute little trim on here. I just have this journaling card. Another little journaling card. And this one here. Here I have another little, um, like a textile that I made, just to use as a little corner tuck. Ah, corner tuck. And it's holding this, um, postcard from uh, Artie Maze. Here again I have an envelope but it's holding this piece of ephemera. This also I got from Etsy and I think it's from GT Designs. And then I have her. So pretty. Here again I have another image. That came from a book. Fanny something. That's all I can remember. Fanny. Artie Mays. Here's another little bits and pieces I used to create a, a tuck, and it's just holding this journaling card there. Here I just did a little bit of layering just to not leave that page so blank. Here's a little pocket. It's just holding these two little, little pieces. And then this one here. Here again, I did a little bit of layering just to use as a little tuck there. The other side of that awesome doily. Here's a, a little pocket that's removable. It's just holding by a little paper clip. And I just have this little bingo card. This piece of ephemera I think came from Marty Mays. And I think this one came from Pinterest. The other side of the paper clip is just holding this little ticket. I can't remember where that came from. Uh, Again, more little scraps to um, do a little collage there. Little journaling card. Another little tag I made. And this is another tag I made. And that image came from that same book I took apart. And this side again. I did another little tuck with scraps and it's just holding one of Tsunami Rose's envelopes. So I won't open this one. Another little pocket here holding this journaling card. Oops, I think I moved the camera, sorry. From Artie Mays. And a little tag I made. Here's another one of those um, envelopes that I just showed you that I started creating. And then I have an image there. And she's also has a little layaway tag on the back. Here again, I did another little bit of collaging to make a little tuck. Added a little butterfly there. Here's another little collage that I just added to that pocket. 
And this is a little tag I made. And it's holding this postcard from Artie Mays and a map, the United States map. The other side of that envelope, envelope, doily. Another little pocket here, and this one is glued down, and it's holding this piece of ephemera from Tsunami Rose. This one's from Marty Mays. And this little bingo card and telegram, also from Tsunami Rose. a little bit of collage in there in the bottom and the last page another beautiful image with a layaway tag and then here you just have another one of my pockets I love that little trim I need to go purchase more a tag I made a little postcard from Artie, Artie Mays and another tag I made. And that's it guys. This is going to Canada on Monday. I love the way it came out. I love the feel. This is some uh, applique that I use on the bottom of this flower. But I love the way it came out. Anyways, thank you so much for watching guys. Uh, for those of you who pray, uh, I ask that you guys pray for my daughter, that they figure out the issue, because that's really sad. 22 years old and going through issues like that, it's not, not good. But uh, thank you so much for watching. You guys take care. God bless, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.